TV, internet, emails, crime alerts, the six o'clock news, the 11 o'clock news. You can't turn on your TV or pick up your iPad or even glance at your phone without a blaring headline about crime. Sometimes I just want to turn it off. And it's easy. It's easy to let yourself live in a bubble, an imaginary world where crime doesn't affect you. I have personally investigated and prosecuted an estimated 10 thousand felony cases. I've covered thousands of notorious crimes. And most important, I am a victim of violent crime, a crime that I live with every day. And now I'm a mother. And I am here to tell you there is no bubble. A bubble doesn't exist. I have been to so many crime scenes, to so many search sites, huge apartment complexes with toys and dinosaurs and plastic bats littering the apartment playground, to densely wooded forests, to dumps, to abandoned houses off long stretches of road, be it dirt or cracked asphalt, looking for clues, looking for evidence, even a shred of evidence, looking for missing people, or worse, looking for bodies. I have sat across the anchor desk, clutching the hands of heartbroken parents, devastated, crying without concern for the camera or the hot lights, begging me to help find their missing child, for me to somehow pull off a miracle to do something, but what? What can I do? What can we do? We cannot stop predators from coming into this world. We cannot stop them from existing. We cannot stop a justice system that allows them to walk free, to get light sentences, slaps on the wrist, and ultimately walk free on early release for good behavior behind bars. But I can sound the warning. I can pass on to you what I have learned from all the years of watching them, monitoring them, studying their modus operandi, their methods of operation investigating them, tracking them down, and putting them behind bars. What I can do, what you can do, what we can do, is fight, fight back. Here's my advice. Don't take a knife to a gunfight. Arm yourself with knowledge, because knowledge is power. For your own sake, for the sake of your children, for the sake of the people you love. Know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Don't sit back and lament the headlines. Don't just turn off the 11 o'clock news when you see crime tape on the screen. Do something. Protect the ones you love. Join me and fight back.